Hello, I'm Mina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you that come back here to practice and improve your English with me. I have some expressions and idioms for you. To make learning easier, make sure to take notes. Repeat the words and make an example for yourself. Let's begin. It was about two years ago, I was working in a supermarket back then. One day, I was tired to my bones and, of course, flat out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> in such situations, it's normal to make mistakes and I did. <laughs> One of my co-workers had noticed my mistakes. She promised to keep it a secret and not to tell anyone. It is but it didn't last forever. One day, she let the cat out of the bag. She told our supervisor. Oh my God. Yeah, I got a punishment. I had to work two weekends in a row. Oh. Hmm. To add insult to my injury, I got a cut in my salary. Do you think that was all? No. You didn't cry when- My dear co-worker told all the events to the manager just to add fuel to the fire. And I got fired. <laughs> That's a lot of information to get in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, and I was jobless. I told myself, don't cry over spilled milk, look for a solution. It was then that I filed for unemployment. Let's take a list of new vocabularies and talk about the meanings. To be tired to bones. It means to be very tired, exhausted. To be flat out. I'm flat out these days. It means I'm very busy and I have no free time. To let the cat out of the bag. It means to reveal a secret. Say it to everyone so that it's not a secret anymore. Punishment. It's a noun and it means penalty, fine, a rough treatment you receive as a result of your offensive behavior. In a row. Two weekends in a row, it means right after each other, without a stopping or break. Of course, I talked about it in this video. To add insult to injury. To add fuel to fire. It means to make situation worse. The situation is already bad. Something else happens and makes it even worse. Imagine you're in debt. To add insult to the injury, you lose your job. To get a cut in salary. It's the opposite of getting a raise. To get a raise means to earn more money. To get a cut means to get less money. To be fired. It's the opposite of being hired. Um, when you continuously make mistakes or your manager is not happy with the way you work, you'll be fired. It's when the manager says, you're not working here anymore. You're fired. Don't confuse quitting your job with being fired. When you quit your job, you stop working for a company or something with your own decision. But when you're fired, you lose your job based on a manager's decision. Don't cry over spilled milk. 
use this proverb when something bad happens to say um, there's no point to being sad. I mean, things has already happened. What can you do if you keep being sad or regretting yourself? Nothing. So don't cry over spilled milk. To file for unemployment. It means to claim you're not working and register to get money from the government. Great! So far, 10 new vocabularies. Can you make an example with any of them? Comment them below. I am Talk out of to here. people! I am out of here! Oh, what a fuck? Oh, come on! Been, what? Because I, I have a little conversation with somebody? With constantly and I am not... What? If I was over. having a conversation with, with Bob or something, like, would we be... Oh, it seems they don't get along well with each other. To get along well with somebody, it means to have a good, friendly relationship with somebody. For example, John gets along well with Jesse. They are good friends and they rarely argue. Picture this situation. You haven't seen your friend for a while. She calls you and says, Oh, hi, Mina. How are you? I've really missed you. It's been a while we haven't met. Let's hang out and catch up. To hang out? To catch up? What does she mean? To hang out means to spend time together. To catch up means to talk to someone you haven't seen for some time. And find out what they've been doing and update one another on life events. It's always a good idea to catch up with old friends. It's hard to turn down an old friend's invitation. You can hang out in a shopping mall, uh, catch up with your old friend and do some shopping. Kill two birds with one stone. What? Kill birds? Two birds? Oh my gosh! No, no, calm down. To kill two birds with one stone means to get two things done at the same time. Oh, okay, I got it. I guess you have a new list of vocabularies to memorize. Go through your list, repeat, repeat, and repeat them. Make examples to learn them faster. I'll be back soon. Uh, Watch one of these videos to improve your English. Bye for now.